the vertical geometry of turnouts in intersections is an important aspect of an intersection design. Splash provides the ability to control low points in these in these fillets uh, in the vertical geometry. Uh, let's select. Well, before I do, I've started another window, and on a profile panel, I have superimposed the edge of the edge of pavement right through here through this main road is this edge of pavement. These are the fillets for this one and the fillet for this one superimposed and then we've superimposed these two edges of pavement as you see them running up out of the top of the profile panel. Now what we're going to do is to select this fillet for edit and we will select the Edit Fillet Vertical Warp Point tool. Now, I'd like to point out that on the fillet, you see a little marker that shows you the low point of the water. This is low point on the fillet. Now, if there is no low point, well, then the water is going to just run right on off onto another street. But in this case, we're going to need to put a either modify our design or put a, a drop inlet at this location. This may or may not be a convenient location, so we can move that around, that low point around. One thing we can do is to change the percent of arc. Now, the low point, the warp point, is the point at which we have projected the cross slope to here, and we've projected the cross slope to here, and of the two roads, averaged their projected elevations and then added this amount zero to the projections and we've done that at the 50 percent mark meaning we've come 50 percent through the the fillet to do that uh, which is typically works fine but let's change that to 70 percent now when I depress the inner key I want you to watch the the uh, low point marker also, you might want to note the shape of the fillet. We may or may not see it change much. So I'm going to press Enter. It did deform some, and this shows the low point here. Now, I'll put it back to 50%. Uh, now, we can also put an elevation modifier on it. So let's uh, let's lower it by a foot. Let's go minus one. That'll be ridiculously radical, but let's let's do it just to see the effect and watch the effect in the profile panel. Well, let's try it. a tenth of a let's say two tenths of a foot. Minus point two. Okay. Uh, and let's window right here. Oops, let's window right here. Okay. Uh, we'll put it back to zero. Watch your profile of the fillet. And you see you're controlling the, the flow of the water, basically. Where is that water going to end up? It's going to end up here. Uh, you can also, I won't demonstrate everything, but you can give the warp spot an actual width, uh, like three feet. Let's say you have a three foot drop inlet, you can cause the warp spot to be three feet wide and you can actually apply a slope to the warp. So you could come here, put a three foot spot on a certain slope and the fillets will come through that that three foot wide warp spot on that slope. Uh, the other thing you can do is to cause it to use or not use the cross slope projection from either of the two either bo or both of the two streets.